Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a video about the 10 moisturizers that I've been using over the past 20 weeks and how they work on me. I want to explain um, the scent, um, the moisturization, hydration of each moisturizer on my skin. Um, hopefully that'll benefit you in some way, whether it's going to save you money, whether you want to skip it or definitely want to try it. So if you're interested in seeing the 10 moisturizers that I used over the past 20 weeks, then stay tuned. Welcome back guys. So my number 10 moisturizer is not, it's not going to win a popularity contest for me. Um, this moisturizer is loved by a lot of people, but unfortunately for me, it just did not work. Uh, that is the Clinique Moisture Surge. Um, I got this from Maya, uh, well actually it was Clinique um, inside of Maya. I picked up this 50ml um, bottle for $60 and I got a whole bunch of um, goodies to go with it, freebies actually. Um, and yeah, I really wanted this to work. Unfortunately, um, yeah, I, I tried it for the two weeks and um, I liked the application, like I liked how it went on the skin. Um, straight away it felt fantastic. Um, it is like a gel-like sort of formula, so probably not great choice for me anyway, considering that I have really dry, um, sensitive, sort of eczema-prone skin. Um, and I think I may have been using it wrong in the beginning. I brought it with the intent of being like my solo um, moisturizer, my holy grail moisturizer. And um, I think that it's actually supposed to be used underneath another moisturizer. And this is supposed to be used just to retain the, um, like, maintain the moisture that's already in your skin. Um, so I, I used it a couple of ways. To start off with, for the first two weeks I used it two weeks straight, just putting it on my face every single day. And um, my skin was in pretty good condition when I started using this and it, 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 it dried out. Um, I, I don't know what happened. I don't know whether it's supposed to do that. I don't know whether I got the wrong formula. But then I tried another moisturizer underneath it, a Fantastic, which my number one moisturizer I had underneath it. And then I put this over the top in the hopes that it would lock in the moisture. And um, I started getting um, flaky patches where I wouldn't normally. My nose started to get flaky. And normally my affected areas are, you know, here and on the head. And um, it just didn't work for me. So I do believe that this formula is probably a lot better for people with oily skin. And so for me, it was a definite no. I really wanted this to work, and a lot of people say it's a fantastic product. So if you have maybe normal skin or um, combination or oily, I would definitely try this. Um, you can pick up a sample from Clinique, um, a sample size for $20, or you can just go in there and get um, a free swatch of it. Um, definitely patch test before you try anything if you've got sensitive skin. I've made that mistake before and um, yeah, that, that was really messy. So anyway, that's my number 10. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad product, it's just, it's not the right one for me. Alright, number 9 is this Simple Light to Skin, sorry, Simple Kind to Skin Hydrating Light Moisturizer. I picked this up in a travel sort of sample pack as you can see it's an itty bitty one um, I paid three dollars for this little thing that's expensive considering that the full size one is actually ten dollars but um, I brought this particularly because I, I don't want to have 10 moisturizers or 20 or 30 moisturizers in full size um, you know uh, bottles and then not use it all. It's, it's a waste of money, it's a waste of product. So I thought I'd pick this up just to try it. And um, it's not a bad moisturizer. It's not a great moisturizer for people who suffer from extremely dry skin. Um, if my skin was in fantastic condition, I could take this um, on an overnight trip or something and it would, it would do perfectly fine. Um, but eventually my skin would need something more. Um, it is great for sensitive skin sufferers. It is great for underneath um, makeup. Just like the Clinique Moisture Surge, which I didn't actually um, mention, this bottle is, well not this bottle, but the full size bottle is $10 for 125 mils, which you can get from Chemist Warehouse, 
Priceline, Woolworths and a whole bunch of other places like that and it's starting to spread. So um, if you've got normal skin, I definitely recommend that. But if you've got really dry skin, probably not the great product and that's why it's number nine for me. All right, number eight on my list is Dove. Now this particular one I think may be phasing out. I brought this from Big W. Um, it's $10 I believe for 300 mils. This is um, 120 mils. I got this on special. Um, but the way I see it is pretty much once you've tried one Dove, they're pretty much all the same for me. Um, I don't really like this. Um, I mean, it, it's not a completely horrible product, but it's a perfumed product. And um, I, I don't like anything heavily scented on my face. I can have reactions, um, I can have headaches, and yeah, I mean, this one does have SPF 15 in it, so it's got the sunscreen, which helps, but um, it doesn't do enough for my skin to warrant me to spend the money, even though it's cheap, and to have it on my face and possibly get headaches and breakouts, and that's why it's number eight. Isn't that right? 1098. Yeah, that's why it's number eight um, on my list. It's It'll do in a pinch, um, but yeah, it's just, it's too scented for me. There's nothing wrong with the scent, it's just that I personally don't like it, and um, yeah. Number seven on my list is not actually a face moisturizer, it is a body moisturizer. You could probably use it on your face, but I don't know whether you would, and that is the Vaseline Cocoa Butter Intensive Care Cocoa Glow. Um, it says that it restores dry skin to reveal its natural glow. Now, once you do put it on your body, it does have a little bit of a glow, but for something that says Vaseline, I sort of expected something that was a little bit more intense um, with the hydration. Um, why, like I said, I've got dry skin, I've got dry skin all over my body, and I used this on my legs, and it was pretty much dried out within three hour period. And um, when I first got this, I got this from um, a supermarket, I opened it up, I took a sniff, I loved the smell, I re I still do, like I'm sniffing it now, I'm like, but when I used it all over my body, the smell was so intense, I, it kind of made me feel sick. Um, it's very sweet, it smells like those um, caramel um, chews that you used to be able to get, the caramel squares that you used to be able to get from the um, milk bar. Um, I don't remember what they're called, but I loved them, but too much of them made me sick. I feel the same about this. Um, it's okay, once again, probably for people with, um, normal skin. Um, probably more so for people with normal skin. I wouldn't recommend it for people who have, uh, combination or oily skin either. Um, so this is okay. My mum likes this. Um, that's actually one of the reasons why I brought it, but for me, it's not enough and it smells too sickly. So that's why this is number seven on my list. Number six, Nivea Soft. Mmm. This is much like the Dove where it is perfumed so strong. It's that strong that I don't even want to put it on my face. Um, you can use this one on your body and hands, I believe. Face, body and hands, yes. It has jojoba oil and vitamin E. Um, it's a relatively good price as well. I forgot to mention the price of the Vaseline, which was very reasonable. It was 700, uh, 750 ml bottle was $6. Now for this one here, sorry, I'm reading off a list. This one here, it's $5 for 75 ml. So $5 for that, which I don't think is too bad actually. Um, it gives a little bit more moisturization than both the Vaseline and the um, Dove, but it's so heavily scented that I just can't rate it much more than those two. And that's why I can't use this and I would have to pass on this, hand it down to somebody else who can stand the smell. Like I said, once again, it's not a horrible smell, it's just very intense and it's not something that I want to have on my face. So, and that's the reason why this is number six. Number five. Now... I don't hate this product, and if I didn't have a couple of other products that hydrate the skin much better than this one, this would rate a lot higher than number five. This would be my number three, but alas, there are better ones than this, and that is the Cocoa Butter, I'm going to have to read it because it's such a big name, 
Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Perfecting Moisturizing Day Cream. It says that it hydrates, balances, and protects skin. It is SPF 15, and it smells very similar to the Vaseline Cocoa Butter, but not as sickly. Like, it's, it is much better. I will put this on my face. It smells great. I don't care if I use it a little bit too much. I can just run it down my neck. Um, it moisturizes, it hydrates, it's great for underneath makeup. Um, the price, yeah, $15 for this size. To be honest with you, I want to only spend $10. Um, I like the product, but I like the product at $10, not $15. Um, so I will definitely get this again, but I'll see if I can get it on special for $10. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it could retain the moisture in the skin just a little bit better than it does. That's why it's not higher up on my list. If it did that, this would be my holy grail. I love the smell. I wish that my top two, one and two, smelled like this because I'd be done. That's it. Search would be over. I wouldn't bother looking for anything else. But anyway, uh, like I said, this is $15. I picked this up from Big W. I want to pay 10 Pretty darn good product. If I was um, not able to get my number one and my number two, this is what I would go and get. So I recommend that for dried and normal, maybe not extremely dry. Um, it is sensitive to skin, even though it does have a little bit of a scent. Still fantastic. Number four. This is not a pretty product. The packaging's not pretty. The smell's not pretty. The application's not pretty. And it sounds like it shouldn't be even in the top five. But, if you have severe eczema, sunburn, sensitive, itchy skin, then this is the one that you're going to want to get. This is my number four. It's ugly, you don't want your new boyfriend to see it, you don't want it to be in pictures, but this is Hydroderm. It's cheap, you can get it at most chemists. I will lather this on my body, it's... <sighs> It's my miracle cure. I have tried eczema creams coming out the wazoo. Nothing worked. My mum brought this for me when I was 10, 12, I want to say, and I haven't gone back. Now, this is not made to be an eczema cream, but when I put it on my skin, a couple of days later, maximum a week, my eczema clearing up, skin starting to feel great. But like I said, it's thick, it smells, it takes ages to rub in, it's it's greasy, you know, there you go, that's what she looks like. It's not a fun formula. It's definitely something that you're going to want to put on at bedtime, when you're home alone. Yeah, yeah. It's number four for a reason. It's great if you've got really, really damaged skin and it will get you back on track so then you can start wearing your top two favorite moisturizers. It's uh, not recommended for underneath your makeup or even daytime use. Best time to use this is when you jump out of a shower, slap it on, body will soak it in a hell of a lot faster and then you won't feel all damp, I guess, and sticky and yeah. Um, anyway, that's number four. The price, I forgot to tell you. I do believe that this is $10. Let me see. It's $11 for this bad boy. If you don't like such a thick consistency, you can get it in a, um, a lotion. Um, just as good. I just find that this one here works just a little bit better, a little bit quicker than the lotion. So that's my number four. Number three. This one I would probably recommend to use over night time. This, after this video, I'm going to be using this one for my son, for my two-year-old. It works fantastic on him. He gets bubbles all over his skin, like little, little bumps. Fixes this straight away. And that is the Aveeno Demexa. Now this one here is targeted for people who have eczema. I don't know really whether or not it fixes eczema, but I can tell you that it definitely leaves your skin dewy. Um, if you don't like that kind of dewy for a long time kind of skin, this is not going to be for you, but I can tell you that your skin will be hydrated once you use this. I would use this all over my body, including my face, and the next day I can still feel that my face is hydrated. So it's definitely a hydrating moisturizer, but it is dewy. Um, it's not great for underneath makeup. I would actually suggest, once again, putting this on after a shower or after bed. It does smell pretty good, though. It smells like porridge. So um, it's full of oats, oat extracts, all that sort of good stuff. So don't hate the smell. Don't hate the product. 
not an, an everyday moisturizer for me because I don't want to be dewy all the time. I prefer to have that um, kind of soft where it's firm, but it's silky. So many different variations of what soft can be. This one's a dewy one. So if you're looking for a dewy, hydrating moisturizer, get this one. The only catch is, is it's $22 at a chemist um, for 206 grams. Um, might seem like a lot, but it works. So it's it's good. Um, like I said, I'm going to be using this for my two-year-old once this video is over, and maybe for my legs, and maybe for my tattoos as well. So that is number three. All right, we've only got two left, and these ones... They could be equal first, but there's a few reasons why this one is number two and not number one, and that is the Neutrogena Naturals. I love this. I could sit here for another 10 minutes and tell you the reason why I love this. In fact, this is the second time that I've actually recorded this video because the first video was 43 minutes, so I realized I had to really quickly wrap it up, and I have no idea how long I've been talking for, so I'm not going to bang on too much. But this one, I first got it, I, it took me two weeks to find it. Every store that I looked in, it was sold out. So it's definitely a popular one in my town. Um, it smells kind of citrusy, like lime or something like that. Um, I'm not a fan of lime, but it's not horrible. I would much prefer this smell over the Dove and the Nivea. Um, it's not as bam in your face and it dies down a lot faster. It doesn't give me a headache. Um, what I did find interesting though, like I didn't have a reaction to this. Um, one of the products that I actually had a moisturizer that I actually had that I had a really bad reaction to was a Neutrogena product. And um, I obviously, I didn't do a patch test first, so that was really bad and my skin just broke out. And I'm not saying that Neutrogena is bad, that was on me because I, I have sensitive skin. So there are some things that my face isn't going to handle and that's not the moisturizer's fault. but. That's what happens when you're an eager beaver and you just want to slap something on. So, um, but this one, I love it. Um, when I put it on, I can feel just the slightest tingle and tightening in my skin. And I loved that. And um, within two to three days, my skin was the best that it has felt in, I don't know how long. It was great. What I will say though, is that if you use too much of this, you'll get this it's a slight crystallization. It's only like a speck or two, like a granule of um, sugar. So you don't need to use that much. I'm a little heavy handed sometimes with my moisturizers because I'm always trying to retain as much moisturize, moisture in my skin as possible. But I've come to realize that I don't need to use that much. Um, this is great. I love it. I don't think that this is, um, it has no sunscreen in it. It says that it has no harsh chemicals, sulfates, parabens, dyes, and something else that I'm not even gonna bother uh, saying because I can't say it. Um, it says that it won't clog, clog pores. I love this. I paid $14, yeah, I paid $14 for this at Priceline for an 88 ml tube, and I will definitely be buying this again. That is why this is number two, and the only reason why it's number two and not number one is the smell. That's it. The smell. Huh. Anyway, <sighs> my number one top of the line moisturizer. Now I didn't like the Clinique Moisture Surge, as you're aware, that's on the bottom of my list. But on the top of my list is the Clinique Dramatically Different Lotion Plus. This is the bomb. This is 50, well this not this one, but you can get this in a 50ml um, pump uh, bottle for $29, so it's less than half price of what the Moisture Surge is, but blown away. Like, there's... I'm not going to be able to say good enough things about this. It's sensitive to skin, it's easy to apply, it rubs in really quickly, um, fantastic underneath my makeup. It's great. Um, the only drawback to this is that because it doesn't have any perfumes or anything in it, um, it does have a funky smell, just like the Moisture Surge, which I'd said in um, a previous video that it smelled like millipede piss. My bad. This one smells like um, dirty car radiator water. So, but it's it's very subtle. You put it on your face, you can't smell it anymore. Um, it's not going to stop me from using it. I love this. I will definitely be buying this one again. If I can't get this, then I will get the nat uh, Neutrogena Naturals. If I can't get that, then I'll be going back to the Palmer's Cocoa Butter face cream. So 
This one's a winner for dry skin, sensitive skin, eczema prone skin, people who don't like strong smells. It's great. So they're my top 10 at the moment. If you are going to sub subscribe, please don't forget, check the bell. Otherwise you may not get alerted to every single video that I have. And I also have a list um, from number 10 to number one of the moisturizers that I just showed with categorized on what I think um, the moisturizers do, whether they're got SPF or anything, whether they're good for bedtime, good for daytime, good under um, makeup or anything like that. I will probably put that on my Instagram page. If you don't have me on Instagram and you wanna see that, then I will put the Instagram name here so you can go and check that out but if you stuck around for this entire video i want to say thank you very much and um, i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope i didn't ramble on too much and have a fantastic day bye guys